you want to make sure that your merch by Amazon listing is getting the most traffic possible. In this video, I'm going to show you three tips for optimizing your SEO that will help you get more views and sales. Hey guys, my name is RJ Martinez and I've been a merch by Amazon seller for over four years. And one of the most important things you can do to increase your traffic and sales is to optimize your SEO. Okay, so tip number one, long tail keywords. So you wanna think about how a customer is gonna to search to find your product on Amazon. Your title is one of the first things potential customers will see. So it's important that you make it count. Use keyword rich phrases that accurately describe your product. Be sure to include irrelevant keywords in your niche. One of the best ways to find long tail keywords is to use the Amazon search bar. Okay, when you type in a certain keyword or phrase, you'll see Amazon will put in the autocomplete phrase for you to help you find your product, okay? And this is important because if you do this, this is one of the phrases that you would wanna include into your title or even come up with new ideas for products. Number two, detailed, helpful, and irrelevant descriptions. Think about your product description as a way to sell to your customer. Your product description is your chance to sell potential customers on your product. So be sure to use this space, so bullet point one, bullet point two, and description to put keywords, real rich keywords in there that customers are searching for in that niche, okay? Every single niche is gonna be different when it comes to keyword phrases and searches because that's just the way it is. People search for different types of products differently in different niches, and in return, when your product starts to rank on the platform, you'll get more traffic because the algorithm will be pulling from these descriptions. I want you to think about it as like a, you know, different ways to pull in traffic from the brand, from the title, from the bullet points, okay, and then the description, okay? Once you start to rank, you'll start to rank on Google too as far as the description. So make sure that you have, you know, really solid keywords throughout the whole listing because next thing you know it, you have traffic coming in for the title the bullet points, okay, and then the description. So let's say you have 100 people coming from the title, and then you have another 100 people coming from the bullet points, and then another two or 300 coming from the description. Okay, so it all adds up. So if you get 500 people, you know, coming from everywhere online to look at your product, it increases the chances of you making a sale. So let's break it down for you right here. In the brand, I try to put one long tail keyword. If you're not building a brand on Amazon, that's if you're not, okay? When you're first starting out, right, testing the platform, I, you know, just to separate or just test, okay, the brand, you can put one long tail keyword in there, okay? And then the title, I try to fit two long tail keywords in there, okay? Um, this is gonna help me get more traffic to the listing if I do it this way, and this is the way I do it. Bullet point one and bullet point two, I try to put in bullet point one, two long tail keywords in there, okay? Just mixing up two sentences, or, or one sentence and making sure I put two long tail keywords in there. And then bullet point two, I try to mix in another two long tail keywords, two long tail phrases into that section. Okay, now the description, you can use this to help you rank on Google. So you can put anywhere between three to five long tail keywords in there, okay? And basically think of a, 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 key, a long tail keyword as more than two words in the niche. So think about um, hummingbird, yellow hummingbird okay those are two words now funny yellow hummingbird okay those three words right there. that's a long tail keyword the longer the phrase the the less competition you're going to create for yourself okay um so think about it that way and that's just an example of how i would put those keywords together okay and you can just copy and paste those depending on the niche right copy and paste the bullet point one bullet point two in the description and use that for that whole niche okay so that's what i recommend when you're doing this type of stuff you want to figure out you know about the niche how people are searching in the niche and what you can do to create a really awesome listing for this niche all right number three a large design or image for the thumbnail okay now when you're putting a design on the t-shirt if you put it too small the customer is not going to be able to see it okay and that is not a good thing you want to think about how you can take as much space as possible on the product template, okay? This is gonna help the customer, you know, see the design, and not only that, it's gonna help with the click-through rate 
on the actual design itself. So think about more clicks lead to more sales, okay? If a customer sees the actual design and they want it, that's gonna increase the click-through rate. And in return, the algorithm is gonna push your product more and you're gonna rank faster for that product, okay? A lot of people don't understand this. They think if you put this some little tiny small image, most of the time the customer's just gonna you know, scroll past, but if they see the actual image, think about if it, it like intrigues them, makes them laugh, makes them smile, most likely they're gonna click on it and make a purchase. So you wanna make sure, okay, at the very beginning too, when I was doing Merch by Amazon, you wanna make sure that your design is very big. Okay, I used to do and make sure that, you know, just made it, made sure it was like, you know, look good, the design looked good, but I didn't think about, you know, if I made the design bigger, it would increase the click-through rate on my product, okay? So, without stretching it and pixelating it, you wanna make sure that your design takes as much space on that design template and that design area of your product. And that's gonna help with more sales and make you more money, because that's the goal, right? And there's tools out there that will help you find, you know, keywords, okay? There's Merch Informer and there's Helium 10, and I'll have that down below in the description, so check that out too. And if you wanna learn how I sold over $200,000 in royalties all time with my Merch by Amazon account, check out this video right here. Peace. Thank you for watching.